Hello, my name is Laurie Dean. I'm doing this nutrition program proposal on the Healthy Kids Community Center. It's a proposal to prevent childhood obesity. Let's talk about childhood obesity and some of the facts uh, surrounding that. Um, one out of five school-aged children between the ages of 6 to 19 in the United States are obese. Obesity impacts the physical, social, and emotional health of children. For example, they're more likely to be bullied, depressed, and socially isolated than their peers that are not overweight. Um, children with obesity are at a greater risk to develop other chronic health conditions or diseases such as asthma, type 2 diabetes, or heart disease. And obese children are more likely to be overweight or obese as adults. The vision for this program would be a local community center that would be open to school-aged children. Um, the services would be offered before and after school care, uh, during school hours, then for the summer break. Healthy meals would be provided. Daily fitness activities would be organized and special activities focusing on nutrition and physical fitness would be planned. Um, the program would be working with the Childhood Obesity Task Force in support of the Let's Move initiative. We'll also talk about staffing and for this the vision would be to get some staffing from uh, mainly volunteers. Um, We'd first reach out for some volunteers in hopes that possibly we could recruit some elderly um, retired folks that would help out at the community center, and that would be beneficial for them as well. They you know, could benefit from working with these school-aged children and learn about nutrition themselves, as well as provide some um, education to the uh, children um, also. And then uh, also looking at having some staff on hand that were paid staff members as well. Um, for strategies, we would mirror the Let's Move initiative. So those initiatives would be creating a healthy start for children. And that's from a young age one. Um, the sooner that we can reach out to the children to get them the education that they need for proper nutri nutrition, um, the better off that they would be to prevent childhood obesity. Providing healthy food at the community center, similar to the Let's Move initiative, um, provide, such as um, providing those healthy foods in schools. Rather than doing that in the schools, we're also talking about um, adding another level here, another layer, and that would be adding this at the community center so that they could get um, supplemental nutrition, not only what they're receiving at school, but also at this community center. And it would be a way to improve access to healthy and affordable foods for those um, school-aged children that may not otherwise be able to have access to those um, foods and healthy choices. Um, it's also a way to in increase physical activity through the community center, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. And also empowering the children to make healthier choices by providing nutritional education early on and then giving them the opportunities to demonstrate those skills that they have learned um, through their nutritional education, possibly in cooking classes. Um, in the Let's Move initiative, the focus was really on empowering the parents and the caregivers. Here we're looking at empowering the children so that they can learn at an earlier age to make those healthier choices that they can carry on with them throughout their um, adult life then and make healthier choices moving forward so that that way they can uh, have a healthier lifestyle um, from a young age on. The Healthy Kids Community Center, some nutrition-based activities, um, again, as we mentioned, the hours would be before and after school uh, hours, and then also during the summertime when school break, um, summer vacation was um, occurring. And then um, the idea would be to provide a healthy breakfast before school, and other uh, healthy options um, that would be provided would be snacks, um, such as fruits and vegetables, and possibly a sandwich option. 
Um, weekly cooking classes could be offered, and that would include lessons from a nutritional-based chef that would be designed to teach kids healthy cooking options starting at a young age. And that way they could take those um, things and tools that they've learned on to work with in their home. And uh, oftentimes uh, these young uh, um, school age children are maybe fending for themselves um, after hours, uh, if parents are working, this might be an option for them to make their own healthy choices for meals rather than just grabbing, um, you know, a, a more unhealthy choice out of the refrigerator or, um, you know, on the way home from school. Healthy community center physical fitness based activities. Um, the idea would be to increase fitness levels and activity levels. Um, the daily physical fitness activities offered such um, the program would be uh, one program would be miles in the morning where children would run, excuse me, would run or walk for certain distances, increasing the duration and length of the um, as the program would continue over time and as they were able to exercise. So that would increase their duration. It would get them moving um, and this would be very beneficial for the children. Um, other activities would be organized based on the children's physical limitations. However, the goal would be to encourage physical activity in some form daily. And then we'd be looking to incorporate the Let's Move initiative concepts, as we mentioned previously. So why the Healthy Kids Community Center? Um, let's talk about this. Over 13 million children in the United States live in food insecure homes, which means that their families do not have enough food to eat on a daily basis. Approximately 17.9% of children under the age of 18 live in households that have limited or uncertain availability to, to safe or nutritious food foods at some time during the year. So that means that they don't have access to those healthy choices. Um, limited choices, limited availability to food, um, not enough food. Those are big red flags. So really this program would be designed to supplement, um, you know, what they're getting at school and also to just aid in giving them um, food in general and providing some of those basic needs. Eating at school may be the only meal that some of the children may get. For example, five to six kids that get free or reduced meals during the school year, they don't get free meals during the summer. So when school's out of session, a lot of kids don't have the opportunity to eat because school was the way that they were getting most of their meals. 16% of the children need meals um, they need those meals when the school is out of session, so they weren't getting those meals. Um, eating breakfast every day is extremely important. It's a, an important part of uh, daily nutrition to have that proper nutrition to the start, get the start of each day for brain power and to fuel your body. So those are some really important reasons as to why the Healthy Kids Community Center and this nutrition-based program at the community center would be important. Next, let's talk about the area where we hope to obtain our support um, through grants and funding. Um, we'd like to seek support from the National Institute of the Food and Agriculture through a competitive grant. The NIFA supports issues that affect the, the daily lives of people uh, and the nation's future, including childhood obesity. So that's one of the agencies that support uh, childhood obesity and the prevention of that. Um, the goal would be to ensure that healthy foods are available and affordable and that people are educated and able to make informed science-based decisions about their health. Um, we'd also look to seek funding through the private sector. Um, one of the private foundations would be the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. These would be my references for this presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you recognize the importance of preventing childhood obesity and the support the program that we have um, presented the initiatives for here today. Thank you.